Hello everybody and welcome to your first Allegro 05 tutorial series. For my newer viewers, I have previously made Allegro 4 tutorials in the past and this video is going to be a brand new series to introduce Allegro 5 to you users out there. Now for my subscribers, um, I told you that I was going to be making Allegro 5 tutorials later on after I finish my Allegro 4 tutorials and XNA tutorials, but a lot of people have been asking me for Allegro 5, so I might as well do it, and the Android tutorials will be coming soon. Anyways, um, to a little background on what Allegro 5 is for those Allegro 4 users or for new users getting into graphics programming. Allegro um, 5 is now C++ supported. Allegro 4 and earlier vo versions supported the C programming language. So Allegro 5 is built around C++, has added support. In my opinion, um, it has like a little, uh, the code is a bit harder to memorize, but it is generally a better place to code in right a better library to code with like the more recent the more better in most cases so um basically it's a graphics library so if you want to make games or applications or whatever then this is the these are the tutorials for you and if you're comparing it to SFML or SDL then I would recommend Allegro over both of them any day and if you want to know why, just inbox me or comment below. So what we want to do is I'm going to zoom in. We want to open up our web browser. And my favorite is Google Chrome. Um, right here you'll see my website. If you have any questions or just want to join the community, then make sure you do it on my website. So what we want to do is go to Allegro.cc. And we want to go down to Files now you see the latest version we want to select the latest version and go down and wherever you see your type of compiler this is for uh, Microsoft Visual Studio um, so whichever version you're using then you want to download that and if you're using like the latest version of code blocks and stuff um, then you'll select whichever version you're using for MinGW so you click the zip file download it I already have it downloaded so once it's finished downloading then you can continue this video now if you can't open the zip file you can always download a program called WinRAR they say you have to pay after 40 days but you really don't have to pay so anyways uh, double click the Allegro 5 um, folder and inside, inside the zip file you'll see this folder um, with the Allegro and the version you have and whatever whatever what you want to do is double click that you should see three folders lib include and bin and you might if if you're a lego 4 user you're familiar with what these do and you can probably already know you probably already know how to install it for the new viewers right here this is how you install a lego 5 to your system what you want to do is go to my computer uh what you want to do is find the directory where you installed your compiler, whether it be CodeBlocks, DevC++, Visual Studio, or whatever. Wherever you saved it, then you want to go to that folder. I saved mine in my D drive. So this is the folder I saved it in. So for Visual Studio users, you will see something called VC standing for Visual C. You don't want to click on um, VC Sharp or Visual Basic if you have the full version of Visual Studio. You want to click VC. Now for the code block users, if I if you click the folder, I believe there's a folder called the MinGW, and inside that folder you will see what I'm what I'm going to show you after this. So for the Visual Studio users, you double click VC, and you should see the folders lib, bin, and include. And if you click the min GW folder for code blocks, you'll see the folders bin, include, and lib. So, um, basically, it's pretty straightforward. We we'll double click the include file, open up our zip file, double click the include file in our zip file, copy this, and paste it. 
simple enough so um we go back to our vc folder or our mngw folder and we will go to lib so we open back up our zip file click lib and you see a lot of files here so we have to scroll all the way down if you don't know how to select them all then you can always click control a to select all so select all of them copy you can do control c to copy or you can just drag and drop in them into the lib folder and i already have them installed so i don't need to do this process so after that we want to click vc then we want to go to bin and do the exact same thing so we'll go back to bin control a drag and drop now do not close the zip file yet because we still have um more stuff to do with the bin folder make sure you keep the bin folder open so what we want to do is we want to go to our main hard drive and mo uh, most computers is going to be the c drive so we want to click the c drive and then we want to search it, some computers are 32 bits and some computers are 64 bit um, my computer has like system 32 and the six, system 64 on it for 32 bit and 64 bit to be on the safe side I've installed Allegro into both but it should work if you have it in either or folder um, so for the 32 bit users you type in system 32 lowercase letters find the folder and some computers have multiple system 32 folders like my old laptop make sure you find the one with all the DLL files and what you want to do is go here <coughs> control A drag it and drop it into the system 32 folder for the system 64 users you want to search for sys wow 64 like that and then you'll see this folder if you have more than one of it make sure you find the one with all the DLL files same thing here drag and drop and be, and when you've done that you have successfully installed Allegro to your system so you guys are like yeah 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 I installed it now what, what do I do well we have to go and test it out to see if you've made any errors while, while installing it so right now what I want you to do is that in your bin folder on the second line of it you should see something called Allegro dash the version you're using slash monolith slash make sure it says slash MD slash debug dot DLL what I want you to do is go and click rename and I want you to copy the name of that okay just copy the name because we're going to need this later so what you want to do is open up Visual Studio so or your compiler so just open up the compiler and what you want to do is go to new project you want to make sure um, Visual C, um, C++ is selected make sure it's an empty project enter the project name the folder you want to um, save it to and then click OK. Now I already have the project open to make this tutorial um, shorter and I already have the code in here. So as you can see, to, I'm not going to be explaining a really in depth what these things do. That is for the next tutorial. This is just to test it out. So I will tr copy and place this in the description um, of the video. If this won't work, if you two won't allow that, then I'll put it on the source code on my website if I forget then please remind me in the comments below but basically here's your code right here so this is basically you can put backslash here or you could put the front slash it doesn't matter but okay so this is basically uh, this is loading the Allegro library files and this is basically loading the Allegro native dialog box class so basically um like you know in certain windows certain windows um display differently on different systems like as you can see i'm not using a mac but like i have a mac theme on my windows computer 
but as you can see like the buttons show up differently on different computers they all have the same functions they just appear differently and you want them to appear natively on how they would appear on your system so and you want them to choose a system code so then you don't get any errors so this is basically what allegro underscore native dialog does it allows you to use the native systems features and when you have a message box pop up it uses the default interface and you'll learn more about these later on in subsequent tutorials so this is just a test out if your program works if it if this code doesn't work then you'll get a, a dialog box that will pop up to give you an error message if it works then um, your console window might pop up and then uh, your game window will flash open and then it will close and then that will be it for the program so if we test this out by clicking F5 oh you will you guys will get an error but not me I left out one last detail um we have to link that we have to let our compiler know that we are working with Allegro it just won't automatically work with it what you want to do is go to project and go to properties we want to go to configuration property properties then linker and then go to input now this is where we're going to utilize the thing I said to copy before now what we're going to do is just paste that in here and we're going to replace DLL with LIB for the library basically this is what we're going to need in order to include Allegro into our program now this is better if you memorize this because it's easier when you memorize it but like I just did it for copying pasting pasting sake to make it easier on you guys so basically says the Allegro the version you're using and you're using debug mode etc etc so click OK on that click OK on there and when you pr run your program then the window should flash open and then it should close really quickly and that's so you know Allegro is installed properly if you get any errors then you need to comment below and if you would like then join the community on my website post your problem then post your code or whatever and then I and the rest of the community will help you out so thanks for watching this tutorial hope you enjoyed it and um, look forward to the next tutorial that's coming very soon. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and bye.